In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interactive components. And you might be asking, why do I need interactive components? I know how to create components. I know how to create prototypes. Why should I combine the two? Well, imagine this scenario. You're at work, calm, just drinking your cappuccino and just doing your designs. And suddenly, your product manager comes in and is like, Dennis. Yes. We need to present a prototype to the client in five minutes. What do you do then? Panic starts kicking in. You don't know what to do. Everything is going wrong. But then you remember you saw this video and then afterwards you calm yourself down and you're like, yeah, I can do this in five minutes without any problems. Let's see how we can do that. Let's jump over to Figma. So for this scenario, let's imagine that this is what we need to prototype. These are all the pages that we need to prototype in just a few clicks. How can we do it? Well, let's start with the components. Now, because we created all these designs using components, by the way, if you missed that video, make sure to check it out. It's going to be in the description below. We can see now that the navigation, footer, and all the interactive buttons are made as components. Now, if you were to start prototyping like you normally do, probably you will do something like this. You will click on every single element and then drag it here, do the interactions, go to the next one, link that one to the next page and then afterwards you're going to go to the next page and you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to go to the first one, link it to this one and it's going to take you a super long time. So then how can we speed up the process? Well, because we used components, if we add those interactions to the actual components, what will happen is that those interactions, because they're attached to a component, they will be carried over to all the frames where we are using those components. So. Let's start with this one. Let's say we want to link our navigation and link all the pages. Well, what we need to do is to simply create the interactions on the main component and just make sure that this links to all the correct pages. So you're just gonna simply just drag and link everything up. You're gonna link this here as well. Now you have all the interactions. We're going to link the logo as well to the home page. And that's it. Now all the pages are linked. So now if you were to check our prototype, we will see that if we close this, we will see that let me just hide this as well. We will see that everything now, all those pages are now linked. So we're basically done. But let's say we want to impress. And let's say we want to over deliver. What can we do next? Well, if we go back to our designs, we already have these buttons which are already made and we already have the states for normal, hover and disable. So what we can do is to link these two together. And here, when we say instead of putting it on click, you'll just select on hover. So while hovering and you just leave the other settings as well, or you can actually add dissolve and you do this for the next button as well on click change to dissolve, ease in, you can put 300 seconds and then you can do this for all your buttons. And now what will happen is because these buttons are used as components in all of your designs, what we will see is that all our buttons now will have that hovering effect because we added that interaction to our components. Literally, that's it. In just 10 minutes, I managed to create the fully functional prototype just because I used components and the prototyping features in Figma. And obviously this works with any component and any interaction. So for example, if you want to have a carousel, you can just add the interactions to a carousel and then afterwards copy and paste that component everywhere where you need it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like smash and then afterwards, I'm going to see you in the next video where we're going to talk about smart animations. Take care and see you soon. Bye.